Welcome back everybody. Here we go. We're at Fort Courage right off of the I-40 and Old Route 66. I've been wanting to get here forever. We will go around and see everything. And it is literally right next to the I-40 here. So I'm assuming this was the old gas station right here. If you need gas, this is not where you will be stopping, obviously, but... It'll get quieter once I get more to the back area. There's some wonderful graffiti art. I saw this is for sale right there. So if you're uh, if you're looking for uh, if you're looking for a place like this, you're in luck. Well, let me see if there's an easier way in before I get crazy with it. Oh. Oh my. Well, you're in need of a a bathroom. Could probably. Oh gosh, it stinks so bad. It definitely does stink. In this place, but look, we have fresh paper towels. Oh. If you are in need of paper towels, right there. Okay. Close it that way. Privacy. Now let's close that back up now. Well, oh, the next one is still padlock shut, so. I definitely don't have to climb through, seeing that it's just left wide open. I'm on steer patrol. Yeah, Michelle is on steer patrol as we will explore further. I wonder what they want for this old property. I'll have to look it up. I will. I will definitely look it up, let you know what they what they want for this old property here. You can just come explore this. I I saw they uh, don't really care. It appears so. Yeah, what's left of an old phone? Huh. Okay. Let's get let's get on with it. So this will be the kind of like the beginning of doing the Route 66. It's really in the middle, but we came up north here. So this is where we're going to start. Okay, so we don't want to really anger this bull that's around here but we will we will continue exploring around just a bunch of tires over there okay so I'm sure these have been emptied there's probably nothing left in them I wonder what the story is on this. We'll have to do more research. Well, I think it just went under because of the economy and they closed Route 66. So I think it just kind of went under slowly. Ah, it just slowly yeah. 
went to nothing. Okay. I mean, this building had a Taco Bell Express, you know, yeah. so one time. You know, they had a pancake house, coffee shop, and a lot of things like that. But um, I am going to date myself here a little bit. But I grew up watching F Troop, and the TV show F Troop was based on Fort Courage. I don't think they filmed it here, though. Okay, we're going to go back over this other way where I have a better vantage point to where the bull may have gotten. Yeah, I see his hoof prints around, so he's been over here. He was eating off of a tree. Oh, I smell his poo. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Here's your Taco oh, Bell. Yeah, there it is right there. Your Taco Bell Express. <laughs> oh, there it is. He's leaving a trail. And that's pretty fresh. So let's. Yeah, okay. Wonderful. <laughs> Fabulous. But he smells like an all natural cow. It smells like alfalfa. So he's definitely from a rancher. We're going to come around to the back side. We found the bull, he's over to the right. So we'll go to the left and we'll go into this old Taco Bell Express. I'm not sure what this building to my right was at one time. We'll go in there as well, but let's go over here first. There looks like an abandoned trailer back there. I'm not sure if I can get to that. We'll see. We'll see. One thing at a time. Let's explore this. Michelle is keeping a, a good eye on the bull. Um, I think everything's fine. I think it's all fine. Oh, I have so got to find a way to get over there. We'll have to see. Yeah, okay, here we go. Wow. Huh. Oh. Okay. No. Nothing inside of that. Wow, I think this literally just became... When it became abandoned, it was really all just all just left. Pretty trashed out. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, here we go. Let's go to this side first. Let's go to my left. Oh, you can... I don't know if it picked it back up, but there's a bunch of cows that are uh, back here. We'll, I'll show them to you when we go back out as well. Bathrooms. Yeah. Oh, the hand dryer is still sitting right there. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Ah. Well, not much to really see in there. Where's where everybody sat? This town is, I mean, it's so small. There's nothing really near here. I can't believe how vandalized this place became. I don't really... get it why well, you would want to destroy oh boy something like this but obviously individuals will destroy anything so this is i guess where you come in at yeah so you'd come in here's where you would order I could say this was a pretty happening place back in the day. Must have been the old grills back here. Stinks so bad here. this September 29th 2000 or um, yeah September 29th 2005 October 5th 2005 huh. okay all right so there are tons of other things to see here as well let's go check out the rest of it got going on here. Well, I am so glad we made the trip here to Fort Courage. All right, so we made it over to this building. From what I can read, it was a U.S. Post Office Indian arts and crafts a general store so that's what i'm guessing no this used to be here it's definitely seen better days we can get in on the other on the other side of it there's a front view of it for you. Let's walk around and go back inside. We definitely definitely have to
I have to get back over to that over there. I believe, well, I don't have to believe, I already know. I accidentally deleted some film footage, so I have to come back and refilm some of this stuff real quick. But that over there is where the workers used to stay. And then, it looks like there's a few old trailers out there as well. So, we'll do this building for a second time because old Fat Sausage Fingers Grant accidentally deleted this footage and luckily I noticed it prior to us actually leaving so that way I didn't have to drive an hour and a half to to get back here so this is what it looks like inside of the old post office and Indian jewelry store and artifacts what was also a general store so I would assume that this part was the general store because there's the old machines for sodas and pop and stuff must have been their cooler right here huh Oh yeah, there's the old switches. Oh, and you could see it as well. There must have been there must have been doors here. You could just pull them open. Okay. And then I'm not sure what part was the old uh what part was the Indian jewelry store and what part was the actual post office? A lot of old paperwork down here. I don't know if there's dates on anything or not or or what. Huh. I'm not sure. Interesting. Okay, let me try to adjust this lighting. Maybe I can see better in here. Hold on. Not really sure. What was in the back room here? I do not know. Obviously, this was three things in, in one here. Hmm. See, and there's the... There's that abandoned trailer right up here. So right out the back. I'll go over there and look at all that in a minute. Must have been an ATM machine, maybe an old safe, I'm not sure what that used to be. Here are the front doors, we were just in front of those a minute ago. Not sure what to my left here that was but it just appears like everything you look down here's some shoes everything was just like it just closed and that was the end of it I'll have to look up more history on Fort uh, Fort Courage But it seems like over the years it has taken quite a quite a beating, that's for sure. Which is sad. 
because I know this place had a lot of history at one time behind it. They left some, looks like this was probably where the Indian crafts was. There was their display cases, I would assume. Huh. Oh yeah, here we go. There it is, oops, sorry. Huh. Okay. Restrooms. Oh, it even had a little up top area, it looks like. Interesting. Discounts on wooden coasters, clay candle holders, blue ceramic dishes. Hmm. Well, the bathroom has seen better days. And it really stinks in here. Huh. It's just crazy how how all of these buildings have been so vandalized. I don't know how long this has been out of business. Oh, let's see if we can get out here. Oh, we already saw the front. Let's go to the. Let's go to the back. Let's go look at the back.